G'day legends, Mick Duck here. Thanks for joining me on another adventure. Today I'm land based. Uh, I'm just going to be wading some flats. So I've got a couple of hard bodies tied on. Uh, just take one rod. Let's get into it. Alright, so this morning I've just got a Daiwa Spike 44. Gonna chuck around the flats here. Um, I get some long, <coughs> long casts and just kind of wait around on the flats. So, quick run through the combo. So, today I'm running a 2000 Daiwa TD Black uh, shallow spool. Running six pound braid, a six pound leader, um, it's about a rod length. And I'm running the TD Black. This one is the TD Black Grubbin 722 ULFS. So it's a bit longer, nice little long cast. And um, yeah, it's a great little setup for just walking the flats here. Cast this one on the Diver Spike 44. Cast quite a long way, just kind of keeping the rod tip up again um, to keep the, the lure not smashing into the bottom all the time I will drop it down and let it run into it but then I'll kind of bring it up and I can feel it when it's hitting the bottom when it's not if it's hitting the bottom too much I might pause it just let it float back up again and then continue that slow wind that i am kind of been using I might change the the retrieve if this is not working but slow wind generally this spot tends to work pretty good Here we go, fish on. Oh, I dropped him. Uh, dropped him when I pressed the record on the GoPro. That's annoying. Oh, well, there's fish out there. That's good. They're biting. That's good. Just going to check my line and leader here. Yeah, everything looks good. Check the drag, get it back out there. Just doing slow wind. The lure's got plenty of uh, movement on it, plenty of action. Don't know whether you can see it coming in here, but look at that. Just has a great little wobble to it. <clears throat> so what I am going to do is just put a little bit of um, scent on. I've got just got some S factor here. Just going to put just a little bit on the hard body. Just kind of like to put a little bit just on the kind of tail area near that back treble, and that seems to wide enough it's not much probably see that but hopefully enough just to actually trigger the bite they're following I can feel the lure's not working properly, it um, doesn't have that kind of juddering, so I know that it's actually hooked up on the line. I can see, yeah, here we go, look, I'll show you here. It's hooked over the trebles, you can see that there. So that's making it lose its action. So I can feel it, so I just kind of wound it in pretty quickly. Now fix that up. You can see quite a few mullet jumping out here. So that's normally a good sign, normally they're feeding, so hopefully all the other flatties, brims start to feed as well. 
Oh, here we go. We're on. Feels like a flatty. Yep, it is always taking a bit of run. It's pretty fresh still. Caught him pretty close to the shore. I'm just going to pull him up here. Not a bad size. What's that? One, two hand spans. At 40. There he goes, off he goes. Rightio, first fish of the day, buddy. Just gonna check my leader here. It was hooked in the back treble, so it should be fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, so let's get it back out there. So after catching that one, just check my leader. Yep, it's all good. I'm going to put on a bit more S-Factor because that did the trick, obviously. Not, not that much. Get it back out there. Probably can't tell on the camera, but I know because I've waded this area quite a bit. There's this kind of broken, ro rocky, rubbly kind of area here. And it holds quite a lot of fish. There was just another brim chasing the lure then, but you kind of see it goes sand and then it kind of goes dark, and that's where the rocky, rubbly kind of stuff is. Like some little bait fish here, so there's definitely some life and action around. I can kind of, I don't know if you can pick that up now, but yeah, definitely broken rocky rubble area here, which is a great place to look for if you're wading your own flats. Fish on. Feels like a flatty. You can get them around here. <coughs> it's a good size one, actually. <laughs> Just got onto that good size flatty. It was probably, I reckon, maybe 55. And it was the old... Uh, you get the spike 44 here doing the damage um yeah the leader was a bit roughed up so i've just retied that so just a few more casts now so we can get something else a lot of flatty on that spike the gopro is playing up so i might have the footage but um yeah
uh, the GoPro is still playing it, but we've got another flatty here, uh, still on the Spike 44. Sorry, right, legends, that's it for the session. A couple of good flatties. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.